Here's a question that I've been receiving um, quite often, emails, comments, and thought I would address the issue. And it has to do with rafter ties and ceiling joists. And a lot of people want to store things in their attic. They want to um, put a ceiling in their garage or something like that. And even this can be beneficial to people just understanding some of the language or some of the components used in framing. So here we have a rafter tie. And it's usually a 2 by 4 And it's going to be spaced 48 inches on center. And it's going to be nailed into the rafter and then angle nails or toenails will be driven into it from the so that it can connect to the top plate and the rafter. And it is going to tie to the other side of the wall. This will prevent the walls from spreading apart and they can also be used in the opposite directions right here. So you can see here that they're 48 inches on center. And now these over here don't have to be 48 inches on center. So sometimes I've seen people just run, run one of these right down the middle. So rafter ties uh, can be made out of two by fours for a 20 foot garage. Um, they might need to be two by six, they might need to be larger if they're going to be longer or used for different types of roofs. I don't want to, uh, that would be up to your engineer. But for most, most of the rafter ties that we used, um, they were used in garages. They were two by fours, 48 inches on center, and usually would be have some type of a brace running uh, vertical here to connect it to the ridge or the rafter to prevent this from sagging. Now let's take a look at ceiling joists. They're going to be spaced a little closer. These are 16 inches on center and uh, you can put a few more nails into the roof rafter if you would like to. Come pan back a little bit. Here we can see it. Let's go ahead and remove the roof. 16 inches on center, 2 by 10. This is Douglas fir. I went ahead and looked in one of the approved uh, span chart books and uh, it said that a number two or better Douglas fir um, can span up to 19 feet 10 inches and I would imagine that would be okay for a 20 foot garage and of course that would be 16 inches on center spacing and of course these ceiling joists are going to be used to hold up a ceiling rafter ties are not meant to to hold up a ceiling of course I say that but if you had a rafter tie that was 2 by 10 you know, or you had rafter ties that were 2 by 10, 16 inches on center without a ceiling on it, then you could put the ceiling on it. That's uh, pretty simple to figure out. But most rafter ties, again, are going to be made out of a smaller piece of lumber, 2 by 4, 2 by 6, and they're going to be spaced 48 inches on center. So if you have a, a rafter tie that's a 2 by 10 for a situation like this, it is spaced four foot on center. You want to put a ceiling in it. All you would need to do is install an additional two rafters or two ceiling joists in between them to uh, meet the 16 inches on center. And then of course, install your ceiling. So, and again, rafter ties can be removed. Remove them and replace them with the desired or the correct lumber sizes. And then of course you can attach a ceiling to that. So anyway, that is it for this video. And I hope it has shed a little more light on this subject than um, I have in the past.